Hello one and all, this is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to Pacific Drive. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew till the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. And we're gonna find out together. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Looks, This looks right up my alley. I've been avoiding spoilers, so I don't know what to expect. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Ferry, okay. JS Express shipping manifest, delivery details and instructions. Got an address, knock first, stay on the roads. Okay, here we go. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. Let the ride begin. We're south of the barrier wall. How many times do you guys think I'm gonna crash? The answer is, I never crash. That doesn't count. Oh, I love the lighting. Wipers, okay. I can do that. Let this. Oh, that must be the wall there. Let's let this atmosphere just wash over us like this rain. Stay looking forward. Headlights on, but guys, turn your lights off and the sound up. We're gonna have we're gonna have a great adventure together. Be going into the zone? Guess so. Little little bumpy here. Let's keep, let's keep those lights on. Oh, there's like material disappearing. Weird. Like rocks. And we're out of power. Holy shit. Oh, 
we got sucked into the zone? <sighs> okay, okay. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I think we're on the other side of the wall now. The exclusion zone. Fine transportation. Okay. Kind of glowy. Sprint. Can we interact with this stuff? Yeah. Oh, wait, is this the car that we were in? Is it just like, was it torn apart? There's the package. Should I bring it along with us? I don't think that's going to happen. a light up ahead on the left. Wow, okay. There's a lot to take in here. Yeah, no kidding, caution. Flashing light here. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Huh. What a swan. I... Never mind. Oh, is that her? Francis, the radar's acting up again. He was supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. <laughs> okay, this is the, uh, the infamous station wagon. Melik HT. Washington, 1947. Put the wheel back on. Okay, there's a wheel missing. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Get in the car. Okay, I was wondering what that beeping was. It's the, um, the objectives in the top right. Start the engine. in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Uh, I guess we can't talk back. Okay, it's in drive. Well, that was weird. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Oh, okay. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. So wipers on. Can I also use... Okay, I can use the controls too. They taught us. Drive east to find shelter. All right, we've got a, a compass right there. 
I thought I had to like click on the radio to talk to that. Oh god. Okay, maybe I'm gonna crash. <laughs> it's a little, this is the best vehicle to be driving in these conditions. Who has actually been in a station wagon like this, by the way? Let's let's hear it. Oh god, we're out of gas, aren't we? Siphon fuel. Okay. Put it in park first, of course. Drive east of shelter, check your trunk for a fuel can. There's something there. Is that it? Okay. Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Got it. Some weird sound from over there. Just <laughs> like wiring and stuff. Can I put this back? Cool. Wait, can I get more? I don't know. I don't know how this works. You know what? I... Oh, God. Let's do that later. Let's... Let's... You know what? Let's get out of here. This is probably a better idea. Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, hold the phone. There it is again. That flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know that, I'd say that going about the speed of a... No way. No <laughs> way to not tell me. Think oh. Remnant, and it's a car this time? Holy cripes. No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how combustion engines still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car's are in or not. Oh shoot! My heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Uh, I think we want to avoid those. I'm not sure though. Those don't look good. When you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. Oppie ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face Oppie. a bad side than let the zone Wait, Oppenheimer? I was just watching that. Can I... Authorized personnel only. Okay, do I have to get out here, or can I push through? This looks like it could be the shelter up ahead. Oh, I love this already! This is so cool! Uh, did I just pop a tire? I'll leave the radio on. Uh, can I just walk out? I'm confused. How do I get out? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I guess it's like there's. That does weird. Find a way into the building. This looks like a way in. Turn the power on. Flip the breaker switch. Okay. Breaker switch. Breaker switch. Ah. Big on off thing. Equip backpack from the table. Get the hell out! 
out before I... Oh, my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. Which has taken the form of a car. This is a remnant. And, well, uh, You're on the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right. <laughs> Lots to say, Wheel. Officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and. <sighs> Covered that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yep. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against bridges trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Okay, so we picked up that. We need to put on the mechanic's eye. What? You need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. What's this? Freaking jukebox, of course. First thing I find. Okay. Mechanic's eye. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Oh, neat. I like the, uh, I like the interface. Blueprint. So first aid kit, scrapper, pry bar. So we're picking up scrap stuff, duct tape, fabric, plastic, scrap metal, the craft things. Uh, where's the, is there, is there a tire? Spare tire. What do, how do I craft? It's not doing anything. I'm hitting, I'm hitting A. It's not doing anything. Missions. I'll be all mind, yeah. Oh, neat. Okay. Logbook. Certain components and equipment that you will install on your car have abilities that need to be activated. Assign controls to up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Okay. Let's uh, let's heal up though. And now we need to fix the car. Put the wheel back on. Didn't we already do that? What's this? Locked. What was this? I don't know if we want to mess around with that. Might be able to get our battery powered back up, though. We're just guessing. Was there a tire here? Oh, because it fell off. Okay. <laughs> Summer tire. Drive the car into the auto shop. Oh. I thought this, I kind of was driving it into the auto shop, but I guess not. Got to drive it around to the side. Ah, there we go. There we go. Connected. Is 
still don't understand the get out part. <laughs> you know, it's tough. Open headset OS. Yeah. This is our pack. We want to go to blueprints. A door. Pin to checklist. So what we have now is a steel door, but it's busted, I guess. And two crude doors. Oh, and then we're missing a door. <laughs> okay. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage or checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Pry bar. Oh. Gotta craft a pry bar or pick one up, eh? Mechanics kit, duct tape, and pry bar. I have to equip it though. Drop equip. Okay. Okay, this is different, kind of different from what I was expecting. I was expecting to be in the car like the whole time. Except for like in between missions or something. Wait, what was that? Is this just glass? Glass shards. Uh, can I just take everything? Transfer materials. Duct tape. Is this a, f a road flare? Equip, drop, assign quick slot. Maybe I should assign this to a quick slot. Search the dumpster. Can I attack as well? Are we going to be fighting stuff? I wouldn't really describe that as a friendly dumpster. But. Okay. Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, uh, panel, and doors. Wait, what? Oh, scrapper. So I use this. Cool. Plastic. Okay. Duct tape on there. Very cool. I mean, kind of, kind of like classic survival uh, game stuff. What's with all the survival games lately? Just, just tons of them. I like. There's been all kinds of different takes, also, which I've enjoyed. Okay, I think I missed something here. Thanks. It's just some duct tape pre-rolled. Ah, workbench. What did it say? Craft a crude door in the shop. Yeah. We got a, there's a ceiling kit. Let's just see what it wants us to do though. Yeah. Repair the car body. Locker with putty in it. Repair putty, a spare tire, first aid kit, and chemicals. Okay. Got the tire in my hands. Okay, I like. Summer tire, summer tire. Can I put it in like the trunk? Yeah, okay, cool. Trunk storage. Uh, open inventory. 
Why can't I put this there? Draw. Okay. Maybe we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, but for now, we got to equip the repair putty. Scrapper. Okay, so we got to do right trigger. Uh, that's neat. Bellicite? Looks like we need a panel there, too. That's how cars work. This one busted? No, we just made that one. <laughs> Fix the flat tire. Okay, we can scan it. <laughs> Ceiling kit. Guess I can probably do it from this side too. Oops. Ceiling kit. That's the wrong one. <laughs> the loose wheel. Oh, it's showing us the status of all the different wheels. Uh, mechanics kit. Oh, I dig in this music too. Zone preparation. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. No. Why do I need cardboard boxes in the trunk? If for storage? Install craft mat. Okay, now she's just down with us. Oops. Like, to hit left shoulder button instead of right shoulder button. Oops. Um. Oh, there we go. way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. I never die. Download crafting blueprints. Can't really do anything right now with this, looks like. Legends, weight points, can't move to the side or anything. Ah, okay. Gear. An impact hammer. Fill the fuel tank, yeah! Barely see it with all the damage. Can I fill up the gas tank too? Throw the switch to charge the battery. Um, let's grab this too. How do I drop this? X, no. 
Left trigger. Charge the battery. What is what is this all about? Okay. Oh, this switch. I can grab like a, a, a wooden stick or something. I wouldn't put my hand near that. Take a look at the projector against the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. That's what we were seeing. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it. I think that's what everyone calls it. Through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. So if I understand correctly, we're trying to stabilize. Make more stable pockets. Dark. Cloudy ahead. It says Junction E5 unknown. Damp forest unknown. I don't know what that means. Klim for gateway. Junction conditions. Exclamation mark. Route analysis. Okay, okay. I don't what? I guess that's mining, the red thing, and like housing, like safety, like shelter. Uh, select destination, Toggle Legend. Ah, there we go. There we go. Atmospheric Schist, Anomaly Density, Radiation Density, Zone Storm, Fuel Density, Vehicle Density, Building Density, Resource Density. Okay. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Wow. A lot, lot to absorb here, guys. Wait, did she say go, go left? I think she said go left. Oops. <laughs> Got to do a jump before, you know. Uh, I was wondering if this would turn around. But what's that? Oh, I put that there. How do I remove that? X. Let's roll! Oh, this is cool. What's that X, Y, A, B? Are we gonna have to do like quick time events? Let the road trip begin! <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we're driving all the way there. I thought we just jump. So it's three hours. Okay, I see. So we're like skipping to this area because it's just nothing uh, along the way. Okay. I was kind of hoping we get to drive the whole time, but that's okay. Radio station, residential, damp forest, outer zone. Your car is your shield. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. You don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. Find and scan a plasma generator. Collect it materials and craft replacement parts. Spark towers and something else. Trailers, I think. 
This looks like a trailer. Your device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. Should I be turning off the car every time? So you on gas, I guess? So it says right shoulder button. To, okay, I guess you just press it to go out and you hold it to open the door. Go scan target, okay, what's this? This is the plasma generator, okay. Ah, uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Can't I, do I have to go to here to craft it? Impact hammer. Not every natural resource can be carefully extracted. Sometimes you need some pneumatically assisted brute force. This captive bolt device is ideal for fracturing crystals, dislodging deposits, or just smashing. So I need gas cylinder and gear. Okay. To do, add to do, to to do list. Add to to do to do to to. Nice. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. I want that styrofoam, does it? Look at you, out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another Rubber decade ducky? without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Oh, they stack. Okay. Just not sure what I can interact with and what I can't yet. So. Look at looking at all the stuff. Okay. Probably the shiny stuff. Fabric, duct tape, fabric. Okay, okay. Um, if you guys have any tips on like how to do things more efficiently, let me know. Other than that, uh, let me discover stuff. Cause I know, I know a bunch of content creators have had access to this for a while. So you guys have been uh, seeing a lot of stuff, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be spoiled. Can I craft from here? No. Do I need more than one? Let's see. Can I? No. Let's do. Duck. No, what's this? Steel sheet here. Did I not craft that? Oh, I don't have I don't have the gear. Okay, let's check in here. I'm I'm a little bit concerned. Hey, uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. No. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you sixty seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get. 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. 
Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. I wanted to Those hear that. Missions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. Okay. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Okay. Kind of like objects of power from uh, Control. Another backpack. Put the backpack in the backpack. A flashlight? Okay, so there was a recording or something, right? How do I listen to that? Oh. Lab report. Can I read it? Assign quick thought, drop, equip, rearrange, view, logbook. Oh, there we go. Lab report number two. It appears that a combination of the correct conductive materials, limb enhanced electromagnetic induction, and a bombardment of electrons can substantially accelerate radioactive decay. So far, the figure suggests we can now accelerate the decay of U235 by as much as 8%, while R222 is accelerated by as much as 12%. We remain cautiously optimistic. I don't think it's unrealistic to expect to reach values as high as 20% which has enormous implications for the future treatment of nuclear waste. Not to mention that we can do, not to mention what we can do to mitigate the changes we're experiencing in the zone. Lot to find, okay. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do like to read everything, really get into the world. The friendly dumpster. If you're ever in dire need, pay this a visit. As much as the zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. I to really get into the world and dig in. Take my time, but I also like to, uh, I like, my favorite part is just discovering stuff, so. We still don't have a gear. Okay. Or we're missing one gear. So, oh. A bulb. So I can construct uh, something with that, it looks like. Huh. Oh, you craft the gear. Gotcha. I think I'd rather have that than the bulb. I'm supposed to smash the plasma generator? That doesn't seem very smart. Okay. Keep hitting A to pick stuff up, guys. Oh, that's kind of neat. It kind of, it kind of goes to the next item to be able to pick it up. So let's, um, yeah, we're kind of like, Kind of getting full here. Rearrange. Oh. Um. Thought it might like auto rearrange. Let's assign this to a quick slot. No. Assign. It's not, it doesn't want to assign. Oh, probably because I can't actually hold it. Can I store stuff in here? Yes. Okay, now we're talking. And I assume... I hope it takes the crafting stuff from there. Let's, let's put all the... Uh, look, it's even going to the stuff? Road flare I can use. Definitely don't need to hang on to that. Okay, so now... No, no, I want that. What about the bumper? Carbureted engine? There's this two there. I don't really know what that means. 
Spare tire. Crude bumper. Let's, uh, let's craft that. Sweet. <laughs> okay, now can I assign this? Uh, assign quick slot. Yeah, it's because I didn't have room for it in my inventory. So we've got the flare, the pry bar, the scrapper, the impact hammer. I already know I can scrap this stuff. Oops. Saying to craft replacement parts. Does that mean it's... I guess that means it's empty, right? Hold on. Feeling we're going to want to keep that full, right? Yeah, okay, okay, it's empty. What about this one? There's a little bit in there. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Until it gets really intense, right? The scrapper is almost destroyed. Yeah, so we are going to want to... There's durability, right? So we're going to want to build multiples of stuff. Some scrap metal, I assume. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm just saw I'm just sawing at it and not doing anything. Yeah, I was curious about, like, if there's going to be enemies to fight, but maybe it's just dealing with the uh, environment, keeping your car intact. Although we do have health, right? So things are going to hurt us. But it might be more just like the anomalies that hurt us than, rather than actual enemies. We'll find out. Radiation hazard. There's stuff in there, though. I like that you can scrap a like a, a steel door, but not. Oh, you can. You can scrap the fence. Okay. Okay, and good. It, it, it fills it in to that spot. You don't have to keep reassigning it. Okay. I wish I could read that warning. There was a box here, right? It's two rubber duckies. Wait, what? There's a wooden door underneath that! What's going on here? Oh, I don't like that. I don't think we want to... I don't think we want to mess with that. Okay. 
So that's one plasma generator. I think there's one over here too. Sodium vapor light. Recommend tool hand vac? Okay. Hand vac. What do I need to, to craft that? I don't think I have a pry bar. Yeah, I don't have the uh, blueprint for that. Ah, your car is your shield. It can protect you from radiation anomalies and the many other dangers of the zone. But only as long as it's in good condition. Keeping your doors closed and car parts in good condition will give you a dependable barrier from the zone. If your car's health meter drops into the red, you'll be at risk. Many ways to make repairs on the go. Be sure to check your crafting options to see what you can replace. And you may find helpful tools as you rummage around the zone. Okay, let's go to the next area. Good sign, guys. I got all that right. Yeah. That's not a good sign. Looks like there's something to the right there. Some, something freaking moving around. I think I might want to stay away from that. That looks bad. Those look like enemies. Okay, and here's uh here's some more of those plasma generators. I got a little close. Yeah, you just press it if you hold it. That's when you get into trouble. That's when you open it without going getting out. What if we approach from this side? Okay. That's two. Did that actually blow up all this stuff too? No. How, how important is it um, to actually scrap all this stuff? Like, am I just kind of not wasting my time, but like, should I just keep going along the main objectives or should I really just, should I collect everything, guys? I'm, I'm down for some advice. I like it, it prioritizes the resources. So that's amazing. How's our, uh, how are our parts doing? This wheel could use a little help. Um. What was it? Like putty? Repair putty? Right trigger. Why remove it? How do I, um...
Oh, quit, right. I keep thinking it's A to equip. Okay, this, that's not a good sign. Charged. Fix none. That needs a panel too, right? Like... So can I craft a... a panel? There we go. And we've got some steel panels too. Okay. Um, do you guys like the music on or off? I guess I could drive up and let the car take the hit and pop out. Oh shit. Gotta put it in park, guys. Okay, okay. Just gotta time this. Is there stamina? It doesn't look like it. First objective completed. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Okay, antenna tower on a hill. So we are there. There's a bunch of stuff up ahead for resource collection. Gas overlook and camping. I'm going to go ahead and get as much stuff. Uh oh, I need to worry about those rocks. Introductions. What? I'm good with all this stuff. Consumer electronics. Perpetual stability. Instability storm will not be chasing you here unless summon. What? Instability storm? Charge. Oh, there we go. Full of juice. A recent arc discharge or blast of electricity has filled this with a hair bristling amount of energy. It'll discharge itself in time. But until then, it's probably not a good idea to get this wet. You may see some unusual behaviors. Flat, loose wheel, essential. Okay. What did, what did that mean exactly? What we just saw there, guys? A little confused. I see, this is like cordoned off. So let's... Pothole. It should just go straight to the the thing. Am I, am I supposed to be holding it down? Back at the helm. 
Okay, so this is all the stuff that we just heard. All the dialogue is saved. Wheel. Okay, okay. Oh, oh here we go. Answer phone message transcript. Origin unknown. February 12th, 1966. Hey boss, so I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias from maintenance, and I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. We've run into some trouble, and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Call me when you get this. Oops. Or better still, I think you should just come down here and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they've all taken flight, so to speak? Oh, really? I I'm serious. I I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me we were normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. There's another... Oh, shit. Okay. Can I scan that? Not from this far away. Okay, let's grab his stuff. Anything in here? Oh. There's a locker on the other end, it looks like. Toolbox. Probably gonna get faster at this. For now, I'm kinda slow as I figure out what I can and can't interact with. Crowbar seems pretty important. This way too. Ah, if you hold down right analog, it'll just move everything. Okay. Just had to press it. Thought I tried that before; it didn't seem to do anything, but. Okay, I don't want to mess with those things. I think we went all through this. Can't strafe run, guys. What happens if I go in there? Okay. Doesn't hurt me. another building ahead. Did I put it into park? I don't know, I don't know. I don't I don't drive cars. That's not true. Let me just make another pry bar in case. I'm gonna I'm gonna go close to this thing and just see what happens. It's taking me. It threw me away. It's an abductor. What the hell? Um. Letter fragment date unknown. Dear Maggie. Once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit- <laughs> Look at the picture I took! They're in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. 
I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened. Top secret things and all. But we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes. Hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll, I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Love always, Joe. Is that the picture that I took or is that a, the picture that they took? <laughs> I'm at 67% health. I just noticed that. Why don't we... Why don't we, why don't we heal up? Did I take damage there? I, I guess I did. No scan target. Pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the same uh, portable. I hope there's going to be a lot more variety. Then there's this car, and it looks like it's like a gas station over there or something. It's the current gas level here. Go back to the car and then we'll grab the uh, gas and drop off the resources. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> what did I put in here? The scrapper. Oh, that's, uh, I love that. I love that. That's great. I guess I don't need to carry the repair putty around, too. Just the tools and the first aid. And... See if we can... There's some gas in there, so we'll fill this up a bit. Well, I think I'm also going to be starting up Sons of the Forest full release as well. Which, uh, actually kind of looks like this. Maybe I should just have this fuel tank around with me. Uh, rearrange this one. Uh, put it there. I just hold down right shoulder button? Yeah. That's one crappy wheel. Yeah, spare tire. 
By the way, I'm not really a car guy, so I apologize if I, like, say some... I apologize in advance if I don't use proper car terminology. That's the one that we just cleared out. Look like I have more stuff. Oh, I didn't check the fuel tank. If there is one. This, this one looks pretty beat up. Oh, they, there is a ton of fuel. Okay. Ah, we're full. I know, I probably should have driven the car over, but I got to start it and put it out of park. You know, that takes effort. You know what they say, the lazy man works twice as hard. I don't care. I'm going to fill this back up. Look at this fucking place. I'm getting everything I can, okay? That's a lot of gas. Okay. Collect materials and craft replacement parts. I guess that's a good idea because if the car goes to shit. Am I full now? Yeah. Yeah, I'll put that away. So, um, what could we? What could we craft? These are all, this is all crude stuff. Steel sheets. Shoot, didn't I leave behind a steel sheet? Or do I craft the steel sheets? Yeah, we craft the gear. I like you use, you use all those rubber duckies. Forget. Oh, I didn't go to whatever that building is. Backed into a car. <laughs> Hold on. So it's like in between. How's this car at off roading? It's like up there. I'll go. I'm going to go check that out. Let me just pull away from this thing. I don't want to get pulled up into a tree. Oh, you can change a radio? Liminal Drifter. I just went into the puddle. That's funny. I dig this music though. I think I think that is just up here. Okay. Yeah, the radio tower. This is what I'm supposed to do. Throw out all those rubber duckies. Wrapper, <laughs> yeah. That's what I would use on a phone, too. Okay, what the hell is this thing? A stable anchor. Oh yeah, you hold it down to take it to you. To take you to the uh, thing you just found. Anchor plug. Private field notes Dr. Mensa, March 30th, 1970. We have now completed the process of standardizing and replacing all of the anchor mounts and in infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable, steadfast against weather and atmospheric changes, and resistant to any corrosion. This has been a lengthy and difficult process, marred with endless delays. It is my hope that most of these mounts will hold for at least 50 years. 
but many projections suggest two or even three hundred. That's far longer than many anchors themselves. This was, I believe, worth it. As usual, I will be compiling and, and submitting a full casualty list by 1,000 hours tomorrow morning. At that time, I will begin to notify next of kin. Locate the radio station. Okay, so this is just... This is a little side thing we could check out. Scrap that shit! Nope. Okay. Was I supposed to take that? Um. I dropped it! Um... I don't know if I was supposed to take that. Hands only. Danger. I'm like dying, aren't I? Let me, I didn't notice that. Let me, let me bring that back. Seventy percent. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is classic luckless behavior. It's like, okay, I can interact with it. Let's just grab it. Oh, because of the radiation, two point five k. Okay, just drop it. Fuck. Holy sh! What the hell? 